Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do something that I've had several requests on. Um, it's something that when I myself did it for the first time, also had a little bit of trouble with, so it makes sense. It's a little hard to figure out, and I tried Googling, and it took me a while to find the right results. So this is just a quick how-to video on how to connect your domain service to your hosting. So if you don't already have a domain, I would suggest buying it from GoDaddy.com, but if you do, we can go ahead and use that, or it might already be on GoDaddy. Um, so what you're first going to need to go to is your domain settings or control panel. I don't know where this is in all types of hosting. I really know only how to get to it in um, GoDaddy. But I'm going to go ahead, I already logged in, and go to the account manager section. And then from there, I can access the domain section. Alright, so I get to this page right here, and as you can see, my caseomanrules.com is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. GoDaddy has a flash sort of um, interface that loads up. It's you know kind of dynamic. You can move things around and such. But what you need to do is once you get here and all this stuff loads up, go ahead and go to name servers. So pretty much what you need to do if you're not on GoDaddy is locate where you can enter name servers. So once you get right here on GoDaddy, it will load up this little flash page right here overlay. Now as you can see, you have several options. You have, I want to park or forward my domains, I have a hosting account with these domains, and I host my own domains with another provider. But if you want to park or forward domains, that means that pretty much you're using this domain to forward to a site that already exists, but you don't have control of. So if, if you go to, like, some people have um, certain .com domains that forward directly to their YouTube page, or their YouTube channel, so you know, you can do that if you want to. But you also have the option to uh, use the hosting account if you're using GoDaddy as your hosting. And finally, if you have another hosting where you're using GoDaddy for your domains or whatever uh, domain service you're using. So go ahead and click on that. And now you have uh, some boxes that are going to pop up down here that you can enter your information into. As soon as you get to this point, what you need to do is log into your hosting and another tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once you get here, you can go ahead down to the control panel. And then you can go right on down to domains here, and here you're going to want to select add-on domains. If you don't have uh, Bytehost hosting, by the way, whatever you have, you know, just go ahead and find where the add-on domain section, everyone has one. So go ahead and enter your new domain here and click create domain. And after you do that, you'll see down here name servers to use. All right, and these are Byte hosts name servers, and your um, hosting also has name servers. They might not be listed under the add-on domains uh, section, but they might also. It's a good place to put it. Um, so as you can see, uh, my host has five name servers, and um, there are four by default right here, but it's only required to have two. You can, however, have up to 13. just depends on your host. So what I've done is I've entered in three of the, or actually only two actually I just messed it up because I just clicked on the wrong tab but I'll just open that up again here so yeah you can have as you know as many as you want practically 13 no host has more than that I don't think so I entered in three of the five name servers available I just have those right here and then after you enter them in just copy and paste them in right there press OK and it'll validate them and then submit them and then it'll have connected your uh, two things right there. So after you have this done right here, you're, you need to make sure that it's added right there like I said, and you put the name servers in for the domain on your uh, domain service, th then you're all set. The only thing is that you're going to need to wait up to 72 hours actually for it to take complete effect. There's something called DNS propagation. Which is where, you know, you're, I'm pretty sure, I can't, don't quote me on this, but where ISPs update their cache of the internet, sort of, not like cache, but, um, you know, kind of just update new DNSs going throughout the internet. It's not going to be available to everyone until, at most, those 72 hours are up. For me, it updates so I can access it in about four hours. So that's good for me, but, you know, people in China, if you're in the United States, you know, other side of the world, it probably is going to take longer, but that's not a huge big deal. But as soon as you can see the domain, you can get ready to work on it. It's pretty easy, and um, uh, this, of course, works for not only .com domains, but any type of domain, including co.cc, if you use the DNS way instead of the uh, forwarding way. So there you go. That's how you guys can go ahead and um, 
connect your two things together. I've gotten a lot of requests on this because it is a confusing process and you don't exactly understand where to enter everything. So thank you for watching this Case Man Rules tutorial on how to link your domain service and your web hosting together. I'll see you guys next time in the next Case Man Rules tutorial.